Hello all, welcome back. So you must have heard this rapper called Terra Grunt. These days, along with the Terraform, this is most commonly used. So we're going to discuss about what is Terra Grunt in this video and then what problem it is trying to solve for Terraform. And then we're going to look at a small demo with one use case of using Terra Grunt for maintaining the backends of Terraform. So after you watch this video, please go through the Terra Grunt website and then add more knowledge to whatever I'm teaching because Terra Grunt is going to be very helpful for your interviews whenever you're preparing for DevOps interviews along with Terraform. So Terra Grunt is a thin wrapper for Terraform that provides extra tools for keeping your Terraform configuration dry. So what is dry? Dry stands for do not repeat yourself. So wherever you feel like you're writing the same code in Terraform, then that is where Terra Grunt is going to be helpful. For this video, I'm going to take one use case that is very helpful and most commonly used in a lot of companies for multiple modules in an application with multiple backends and how we can use Terra Grunt to keep your code dry. So let's take an example. Let's say you have a staging environment and you have an application. And then in an application, you have one front end and one back end. Now, in this case, I'm going to call it as a front end app. And then you have a MySQL database as a back end. So your sample Terraform file would look something like this. You have environment at the top and then at the root. And then you have a front end app inside that you have a main.tf. And similarly, in the back end, also you have a main.tf for the MySQL database. And when you add backends to this, so you have backends for both of your modules. Now, some people might even add backend to the main.tf, but by design, whatever you are following, you'll have a backend for these two modules of your application. Now, let's look at the sample backend TF. So, your backend.tf for your front end application will have a bucket, and this is example for S3. I'm going to show you for GCS also. The bucket, you'll have a bucket name and then the key. So what is the path that you're going to use inside this bucket to store your state? And now because we are using frontend app, if you notice this closely, I'm using a frontend hyphen app as a path so that it will be easy for me to maintain multiple states of an application which are having multiple modules. Now, similarly for the backend, we have to replace the frontend app with the MySQL so that inside that uh, storage bucket, you will have two parts each for your module. So what do we do in Terraform is that because Terraform doesn't allow you to have variables inside your backend, you know, it doesn't support any adding variables here. We have to repeat the same code in each folder for module for each module to avoid that Terra Grant will help you to you know, Terra Grant will generate the backends for you. I'm going to show that in this demo now. So let's look at the demo. I'm going by the same example, in my Terraform folder, I have, you know, two modules, frontend app and then MySQL. Now let's say if I go to the frontend app, I'll have a backend here and then backend will have something like this. If I'm, since I'm using here GCS bucket, I have a bucket name and then the prefix of frontend, sorry for the, typo here, front end and then the state. Now, similarly for the MySQL also, you know, I would create a backend and have the prefix as MySQL. So everything else remains same. So what we're doing here is we are repeating this code by going into multiple folders because to maintain the backend with just minimal changes. So how are we going to fix this with uh, Terra Grunt? So obviously first you have to install Terra Grunt on your um, on your instance. Since I'm using Mac, I did brew install Mac, but if you're using CentOS or Red, Red Hat, you have very good documentation about how to install Terra Grunt wrapper. And then I'm going to paste the link in the description, but it's very simple. Now, if I have to show you the same example with Terra Grunt, the first things first, we'll have the same directory structure, front end app, and then MySQL. We have to first create a Terra Grunt HCL here. Okay. And then if I open this, you will see that we are going to generate the backend here, you know. Um, so basically what we are saying is that if exist overwrite, and this is the path, path is equal to backend.tf. And these are the contents of the backend, which is bucket. And then the prefix is path relative to the, to the module. Let's say if it is MySQL, then it will take the MySQL. If, if it is frontend, then it will take the frontend and then rest of the things would remain same. So that's number one. We create a telegram.hcl at the root directory. 
So, but now when we go to the front end app, we also have to create a Terragram file here. But in this Terragram file, let me cat the file. You would see only include root and find in the parents folder. So whatever that is in uh, the root of Terragram file, whatever that is given there, that will be used to create here so that you don't have to repeat the backend stuff here. Now, again, if I go to MySQL, the same thing, you'll not have any backends here. I'm just creating a same similar Terragram file and then the same logic applies here as well. Okay, now how do we have to run this? So let's say if you want to run the front end first, you know, you go to the front end app, like the way you do Terraform in it, we do the same thing, but we have to do with Terragram in it. Okay, and then that would initialize the backend. And since we already have the bucket, I'm going to show you what's going to happen the existing bucket. So the bucket is Terragrant backend bucket. As you see here, um, it has created the directory structure that we have mentioned. And then it has also created a default state. If I show you what is happening in that folder, if I do a, so let's do front end app and you see here a backend.tf got created. If I open backend.tf, it is generated by Terragrant. Uh, signature it is generated by Terragrant. And then whatever we have given as the parameters or that we wanted to be copied in all the you know modules along with the change. This is what we have made it as a dynamic parameter, if you remember in the, the root Terragrant file. And this is this will be substituted, and this is what we needed which has to be changed in all the modules. Now, if I do the same thing in MySQL, Terra Grunt in it, same thing would happen here also. Go back. And uh, you can see here, uh, we have MySQL folder that got created for the MySQL module. So that's a quick demo of understanding Terragram. Give it a try and then make sure you cover other scenarios also that is mentioned in the documentation. I'm going to copy the link in the description and let me know in the comment section if this tutorial was helpful. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do click on subscribe and then give your feedback. Do like this video. Thank you again for watching this. Take care. Bye.